Okay, for the purposes of this application, we don't really care what happens with the customer name and customer address. That's something that we'd probably likely pull from a database uh, in a different form. Uh, for the purposes of this, where we're just playing with the invoice and, and really just making sure that the maths work, we don't really care about the customer name and address. They're just there for view, for, for pleasure. What we're going to focus on is the, the four columns uh, where all the action happens, namely computer, unit price, quantity, and cost. Now then, looking at this, the first thing that we need to do is to establish a unit price for each of our computers. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on computer, and this puts us into the, the VB area. Now then, we're going to do a simple case statement uh, which will look at um, each possible uh, selection and give us a value to put into the other field. Okay, so I'll type in select case, then I say what. Now in this case, it is what what one dot text to be precise. Okay, so in the case that what one dot text is Toshiba which is the first value on my list. Then I'm going to set a sub no I'm going to set <laughs> if I can remember my unit names unit one dot text equal to just an arbitrary value say two hundred and fifty. Okay. In the case of Apple I'm going to set it to because apples are generally more expensive. We're going to go for a value of 500. In the case of Dell, oops, keep forgetting those pesky quotes. I'm going to set it. to 350. These are purely arbitrary values. I mean, you can put whatever you like in. Almost sound like a chef. In the case of Fujitsu, and I quite like Fujitsu systems nowadays, but not as much as I like my Apple. Okay, so that's basically our case statement. Now then we can test and see whether this works because we don't need anything else in there. Okay, we're just looking at what happens when the ca when the value is selected, uh, which is when this pri when this subroutine here gets ca uh, uh, called, and then it's just going to change one of the other values. So if I run this, with anything like reasonable luck, that pops the screen. I pick my computer and the unit price comes up and then just prove that out with each of them. There we go. Now remember that at this stage it's only this line that we've done. If I choose one of the others nothing happens because it's only this this particular row that we're working on. What we'll do is we'll finish off this row. Uh, we've done the computer part. We'll move on and do the quantity part next because the quantity is the key that drives the rest of it. Okay.